Breaking news, you will be shocked. Buhari Malami put to shame as Supreme Court strike out Buhari's and Malami's suit seeking to take out Section 84, Subsection 12 of the New Electoral Act. Remember the New Electoral Act that says anyone who is appointed must resign before they continue. That's why the former transportation minister Rotimi Amechi had to you know resign and um, Buhari and Malami in fact Malami took it upon himself went to whom I hear to a court to ask to say that um, that part uh, is against fundamental human rights and I don't know how he does it when he wants to do anything he knows the people he goes to well Supreme Court today so the matter is as good dead and gone forever Supreme Court has struck it out saying you know what there is no need for it that what buhari and malami is trying to propose will not stand okay please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details breaking news supreme court strikes out buhari's malami's suit challenging section 84 subsection 12 of the electoral act can you imagine oh, after he assigned it the president of the country wants them to annoy it it's not the one oh, it was the same malami okay the same uh, uh, dubious person let's get all the details the supreme court holds that the request by mr buhari to the national assembly to delete section 84 subsection 12 of the electoral act am amends amounts to a constitutional violation and cannot be accepted. The Supreme Court on Friday struck out a suit filed by President Muhammad Buhari and his Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami, to challenge the Constitution, Constitutional Section of Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act. A seven judge bench by the Supreme Court, led by Musa Dangudi Muhammad, authenticately strike out the court's case suit, describing it as an abuse of court's process. Akinyo, Akinyola Agi, who delivered the judge, the lead judgment, held that President Muhammad Buhari, having ascertained to Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act, cannot turn around to appeal to court to strike it out. It does not count. There is no provision in the Constitution that vests the president and the power to change the Constitution or deliberately put in what is right or what is wrong. After he, he has ascertained or denied his assent on it, in, his, in this case, the president gave his assent to the case. The, he added that the request by Mr. Buhari to the National Assembly to delete the provision am amounted to constitutional violation and therefore can't be accepted. He says Buhari and Mr. Malami cannot violate the constitution and expect legal process to continue. This is therefore not accepted and therefore the case has been struck out. Now, President Muhammad Buhari and Malami has been put to shame. Yes, shame. Okay, they've been put to shame. It is sad that these persons, these people, you know, are supposed to be um, looking after the nation. You know, Malami is supposed to be the attorney general, a man that when you hear his name, if you're feeling distraught and you're feeling, you know, you're not feeling well or you, you feel you need you feel you, you have need for justice and you hear his name, you should be rest assured, happy. However, this is really unnecessary. With the level of things that is going on, this is so unnecessary for them to go back to the National Assembly asking that the, that very suit should be, that, 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 um, that very portion of the Constitution should be deleted. You see, Nigerians, if we don't rise up for what is right and, and gives us another position and, you know, pointer to the fact that elections are around the corner. And what we need to do is that every one of us, okay, as a matter of every one of us, must not allow, okay, the continuous oppression being propagated on us by this set of people in any way, form or kind. The Buhari's administration have continued to, you know, deter 
Nigerians from true democracy. They said we are in a democratic system, but hey, are we really in a democratic system? We had the attorney general and the, and the president will wake up one morning and they want to change constitution. I mean, it, it, this is, you know, they, they just want to do things that will give them, you know, a, a continuous hold on the nation in whatever way possible. And it is time for us to correct some of those anomalies by voting in the right candidates. You and I cannot continue to sit down and think that, uh, you know, things are just going to go away. We have to prepare for it. We have to intentionally make up our mind to vote for the man, the woman who we think, you know, has what it takes to bring Nigeria out of our present predicament. We can't sit back hold our hands and just say, oh, it's what they do. No, no. We are determinant of the outcome of what is going on. How can Buhari, after ascertaining to, you know, a part of the constitution, wake up one morning, you know, and say he doesn't want it anymore. It does not suit him. Simply because uh, the attorney general has come to him. However, they've been put to shame, gallantly put to shame. Both the Buhari and his attorney has been put to shame. Okay. So this is terrible. Things that are going on are sincerely, truly terrible. And Nigerians, it is high time to begin to look at things very critically and be sure, okay, who we are putting into power it is so, in fact, I cannot even emphasize it enough. I can't even emphasize it enough. Like seriously, it can't, it, it, we can't even emphasize it enough. So it is high time to begin to look at things and ensure that the right people are in the right place, Okay. You know, the right one, the right place so that we can move forward. It's about time we make a change, you know, and, um, you know, it's beginning, it's beginning to become a reality, you know, for every one of us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Let us speak out, okay? against everything and anything that continues to put us down as a people, as a nation, so we can move forward. It's about time, you know. It's about time. Really, please get your PVC. We still have a couple of hours to the end of June. A couple of hours. You, we can still do something about it. God bless. Bye for now.